Hey, this is Vision Gamer. Today, we're delving into the exhilarating realm of free-to-play racing games. From intense street circuits to adrenaline-fueled off-road track, we've curated the top 10 titles that'll satisfy your need for speed without costing a penny. Starting with number 10 is Max Bike. This game is my favorite realistic bike driving game. It's among the most realistic bike games available, making it a challenge to master features like shifting and other manual controls. Additionally, you can perform stunts in the game. While the paid version costs $1.11, there's a demo available for free. Let me guide you through downloading it. First, visit the website mx-bike.com, then click on the download button. Next, select Mirror 4 to begin the download. The demo offers one bike and two tracks for you to experience. Although you can't play online or mod the game in the demo version, you still get a good feel for it. Personally, I've spent a lot of time playing this game, yet I still struggle with advanced maneuvers like wheelies and other stunts, especially since I use a keyboard and mouse for controls. For a better experience, I recommend using a controller. Overall, it's a quite enjoyable game to play. Coming up next, number nine is Roblox. I recently got into Roblox Drift games, initially just for fun, but it's not as bad as it sounds. While there's no steering wheel support, you can turn your wheel into a controller using Xbox 360 emulator software. The physics aren't great overall, but for drifting, I recommend trying Solitary Walt and Drift Paradise. If you prefer regular car games, Driving Empire is popular. Roblox has so many games and new ones come out daily and the best part is they're all free. It's hard to keep up, but the variety is impressive. I like that you can exit your car and move around, but I dislike the lack of player interaction in most games. Up next, number eight, Initial Unity. This game is completely free, but it's not available on consoles and doesn't support steering wheels. You can play multiplayer online, engaging in toga battles with other players. While there aren't many cars in the game, it features the most famous Initial D cars. Initial Unity is recommended to be played with a controller, although it's possible to use a keyboard. However, steering wheel support is lacking. While I don't have many negative things to say about Initial Unity considering it's free, I'm not a fan of its physics, which feel more like a mobile game on PC. Graphically, it's on par with other Unity-based games. Content-wise, it may entertain you for an hour or two, but don't expect a lot considering the developers aren't getting paid for it. Moving on to the next game number seven is Overdrift Festival. There's a free version available on their Steam page right now. It's technically a demo. The physics are good, making it easy to drift on both keyboard and controller. Graphics are decent and wheel support is also good. It's quite underrated with a low online player count. I'm genuinely curious why it hasn't gained more traction. Coming up next game number six is Downtown Drift. This game is like, Pac-Man meets first-person racing. Your goal? Score as many points as possible by drifting while being chased by the police. Each drift earns points and increases your multiplier. But watch out, crashes reduce your limited health. Features include fast-paced racing with intense police chases, realistic car destruction, and a global high-score ranking to compete with friends worldwide. Stay updated on development progress by joining the community group, Discord server, and following on social media up next game number five is Japanese Drift Master. Japanese Drift Master offers an immersive journey into Japan's automotive culture and the birthplace of drift racing. Dive into an open world filled with miles of content, bustling small towns, dynamic day-night cycles, and diverse weather systems. Explore kilometers of roads inspired by real-world locations from tourist hotspots like Lake Haikama to challenging mountain passes and bustling urban areas. Customize your car in true JDM style at the paint shop and unlock hidden potential at the tuner shop. Experience the most satisfying drifting physics, regardless of your preferred steering device. Immerse yourself in the storyline of a foreigner striving to make a mark on Japan's drifting scene, competing for the title of best Hashiria. Feel the authentic whir of the engine with original recordings of real car sounds, bringing the thrill of real life racing to your fingertips. Enjoy the free demo in early access and get a taste of what Japanese Driftmaster has to offer. Moving on to the next game, number four, is Disney Speedstorm. Despite its enjoyable racing mechanics, Disney Speedstorm is plagued by unfair and greedy practices that hinder its progression and single-player content. While many free-to-play games with microtransactions allow players to progress without paying, albeit at a slower pace, this game locks players out of significant single-player content unless they invest in upgrades. This approach is frustrating and undermines the overall experience. If players silently accept these issues, there's little incentive for the game to change, perpetuating a pay-to-win nightmare. 
However, it's worth noting that Disney Speedstorm remains a solid kart racer. Although its complex in-game economy and lack of additional modes beyond single races may deter some players, the core racing experience is undeniably enjoyable. Coming up next game number 3 is Trackmania. Trackmania games seem incredibly fun, especially for newcomers like myself. The free version offers a solid introduction with access to basic mechanics and gameplay. Alternatively, there's the completely free option of Trackmania Nations Forever. Whether racing solo or with friends, you can unlock medals, trophies, and prestige skins, and climb leaderboards in ranked mode. Enjoy wacky tracks in Royal Mode's 60-player showdown, and take advantage of crossplay and platform progression. With new campaigns every three months, community-generated tracks, and the ability to create your own tracks and car skins, the content is ever-evolving and full of possibilities. Up next game number two is Race Room Racing Experience. Race Room Racing Experience is a free racing simulator for Windows, developed by KW Studios. It offers realistic car and track models, various game modes, and virtual reality support. The game is regularly updated since its 2013 release, featuring licensed cars from 46 manufacturers and 60 tracks worldwide. Despite its quality, it's often overlooked, as Eurogamer dubbed it, the best racing game you've never heard of. Finally coming up, the last game is Rev to Vertex. Rev to Vertex, R2V. Early Access is a new racing game by Plutonization, led by Macau Grand Prix racers from Hong Kong. It offers unique battles on Hong Kong's public roads, highways, and Tuj, with players aiming to outdistance opponents. With a variety of cars and customization options, it promises exciting racing experiences. The August Early Access version includes Route Twisk and Tolo Harbor for training missions and Sector Tutorial for free play mode 